Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to learn how to create loan amortization schedule. With the help of this sheet, you will be able to know more about your loan obligations like what you will be paying every month and what portion of that amount is interest and what is actual loan repayment and also you will be able to know closing balance of your loan at each month end. We will also learn how to use PMT formula which is very useful to know exact EMI which you will be paying every month so without wasting any more time let's start so here we will have some components of our loan so first will be total cost so cost can be for any loan or anything which you have purchased from bank or anything so total cost in our case will be for car loan or it could be any loan which you have so total cost is 100,000 in our case and then we will have down payment and then actual loan or you can name it financing so here we will type 20% and here I will use formula which is equals to minus then this sale which is total cost and I will multiply this with 20% and then enter and you can see this is showing a minus number because we have paid this amount upfront and then I will use some formula and I will select these both and enter so we got our loan amount which is 80,000 in our case so I'll select these and click this dollar sign and then I will remove the decimals and then here I will type interest rate which is 10% in our case we can change it later on this is per annum like 10% for a year and then period which is 6 years in our case and I will multiply that by 12 12 months in a year and enter so we got 72 months and here we will type monthly payment and here I will use the interesting formula which is PMT so equals to PMT so this formula is very useful to calculate constant payments which you will be paying on monthly basis so PMT then tab now we have to select interest rate which we have here so I will select this sale then I will divide this by 12 because we have 12 months in a year so the reason we are dividing this by 12 months because we are calculating monthly payment so we have to adjust that on monthly basis so we will divide this by 12 and then comma as per the formula now this is asking for period so we will select this cell where we have months and then comma as per the formula and now it's asking for PV which stands for present value so present value of our loan is 80,000 so I will select this cell and break it over and enter so here you can see this is the payment we will be paying on monthly basis so as this monthly payment is the outflow which you will be paying so that's why it's showing as negative amount but we will adjust this by selecting this cell and then from here I will add minus sign which is simple maths minus into minus will convert into plus and then enter so we got our number as positive and then let's draw a line here I will select this draw border and I will add this line here to differentiate these both and then I will select these all and merge and here we will type our title which is loan amortization schedule and enter And from here we will start creating our table so first we will add headings month then financing then interest amount or interest paid then here loan repaid and then here monthly payment which we got from PMT formula and then monthly closing I will add some space here 
and let's add PMT and I will select this by pressing shift space and press control B to make it bold and we'll do the same for this and here I will add months first second third and here for financing I will select this sale which is our loan because that is the actual loan and then for interest paid I will use equals to then select this sale which is actual loan multiply by interest rate and make sure to lock it by pressing F4 because we will drag this formula down and it will mess up everything so we have logged it and then I will divide this by 12 because we are calculating monthly interest and enter so we got our interest payment and then for loan payment we will use equals to monthly payment minus interest paid so this is actually a simple formula when we will remove interest payment from our monthly payment so rest will be payment for the loan let me show you how and enter so this is showing a negative number because we have not added monthly payment so here I will select this sale and equals to I will select this sale as a reference and enter so now you can see so this is the loan repayment and for closing I will add equals to loan amount minus loan repaid and enter so at the end of first month our loan obligation will be 79,184.60 please hit that like button if you are liking this video so far and comment down if you have any query about anything you can support me by subscribing my channel and by buying me a coffee from the link below and then here I will use equals to and will select this sale because because closing of one month will be opening for next month so then enter and then here I will copy this formula down and for this we'll do the same but for here I will use equals to and then select this sale and enter and then we'll copy this and now I will copy these all sorry let's change this equals to this sale plus one and enter so now I will select this line and drag this down and you will see the magic it's easy right and I will select these and copy and I will go down and just paste it and then paste it down okay so 71 so I will copy this and paste it for the last time so you can see it's showing zero as closing balance because our loan obligation was for 72 months and you can see at the end of this we have zero as liability and now if you want to play around it you can change anything which you want let's say you are planning to take a loan so you can calculate different rates and amounts to check what will be your monthly payment and stuff so let's make it 5% and enter so you can see all these have changed and if you go down you will see at the end of this you will have zero as obligation and you can also change total amount let's say I will increase it to 150,000 so you can see things are changing and let's say you have down payment of 10% you can see this you can also plan your monthly payment let's say you cannot pay 2174.17 and you want to decrease your monthly liability so you can consider increasing your down payment let's say instead of 10 percent I am paying 30 percent so you can see so your monthly loan payment is down to 1691 and you can also change your period let's say you want to decrease your monthly payment further so then you can consider increasing your loan period so let's change this from six years to seven years so I will change this six 
into 7 and enter. So you can see your monthly loan payment is under 1500. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please hit the like button, comment down if you have any question, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe.